Hello and welcome to Five Minutes in the Shed. Right, uh, just a quick one tonight. Um, just got, I've, I haven't got much time, so I'm going to put the gearbox bearings in the gearbox um, because then that's ready for when all the gearbox cluster goes back in while I'm waiting for my conrod bolts. However, uh, I don't have a drift that I'll put in the needle roller bearing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going freehand, so it might be a bit wobbly, right? So here's the uh, the hole for the transmission. Let me just put a bit of light on. Ah, there we go. There we go. Right. So in this this hole here, this big hole here, um, we've got a bearing to go in, which is uh, this one. So that goes in there. That runs on the end of the the big main shaft. So sorry, point that in the right way because big main shaft right uh, and after that goes in a seal so that seal goes in but from the other side uh, then here where the lay shaft sits we've got this needle roller bearing here brand new needle roller bearing I don't know if you remember from previous videos but that is what the old needle bearing looks like all the needles fell out all right so not good uh, so needle roller there sits in that hole there uh, then on top of that, we've got this uh, uh, sort of bronze bush, right? Which is, has these kind of, let's see if I can zoom in, these slots in it, right? Now that sits in there. There's a little hole in it which locates on a peg. Uh, it's very hard to do one-handed, right? So that sits in there like that, right? So when you put that needle roller bearing in, it sits in, but it sits proud of the casing, right? So it sits, let's take this out, it sits kind of one millimeter proud of that, right? And the reason it sits very slightly proud of, oh, God, yeah, that's no good, of that is so these little slots that are machined into it here allow oil to dribble down and into into the needles all right so that that face there runs on the end of the lay shaft here like that and those gaps in it which you can just see there allow oil to dribble down into the needle roller which is sitting on the end of it so this has to be about one millimeter proud of the top of that casing and as there is a Triumph special tool for pressing that in. Uh, I don't have one. So what I'm going to have to do is make a drift which sits inside there so I don't damage it uh, to, to drift it in nicely and then stop one millimetre proud of the casing, um, which I can, I can just measure that. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to uh, make a drift. So coming down this way, to make a drift, I need a bit of metal. I've got a bit of metal, a bit of metal is here. All right, that's about the right size. Uh, it's about 14 something, 11 sixteenths, I think it is. It needs to be, diameter. However, I've got a four jaw in there. Uh, I suppose I could use a four jaw. It would be a lot easier. I don't have to dial it up if I use the three jaw, but the three jaw is on the floor, so I might have to just change the chuck. Um, and uh, get the lathe in the right position, and then uh, I'll machine that up. Right, uh, cue some music. Right then, uh, okay, handheld cam again. So I've got the needle roller there and I've got the um, drift that I've just made, nice uh, square edge on there, uh, a little bit rounded there so I don't damage anything on the way in. So that now 
fits a treat over that and that is going to drift it into my casing so that's ready i've got the bearing i think the next thing i need to do is actually put it in the uh in the engine case right back over to the other bench okay so i've got my uh make things hot gun um and i've got the uh, uh the needle roller here i'm gonna move that out of the way because i need it to be cold um and i've got the 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 bronze thing there and i've got me drift that i made here so that needs to be cold as well i have to give that a blow over with some brake cleaner um so i'm going to make that hot put it in i have no idea how i'm going to film that i can't hold the camera and i you know can't do it anyway i'm going to put it in and uh, then uh, i'll show you when it's in okay so by the magic of television that's in now i'll just put the light on um light on whoa there we go so that's in and it's just down enough so that when you put the bush in then the oil can get in there and drip in there and make it oily so that's in lovely uh, that bronze thing is going to fall out though so i'm just going to take it out and uh put it with my gearbox on there it goes on there goes on there that's going to totally fall off put it next to it so i don't forget it because otherwise i'm going to put that in and not forget right now now for the other bearing so the other bearing is the other side let's go turn this over i shouldn't be doing this one-handed okay move some of these drifty bits just over here out of the way okay so now i need to find some bits of wood to prop this up and in here it's still warm so it's a good time to do it i've got to put this bearing in there in there followed by a um circlip uh followed by a seal and that goes in there like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna do that now right put you back on the on the side because otherwise it's gonna be a right old mess uh uh, you don't want to see a sped up video of me heating up a casing, right? So uh, I'll come right back to you. There we go. By the magic of television, again, uh, all of a sudden, everything's moved around. Uh, loads of bits of wood are on my workbench and hammers and great big sockets. And that's really hot and I shouldn't have picked it up. It's still hot. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the... Uh... Oh, damn it. Ha ha ha, yeah. That is hot. Uh, the bearing's in and the circlip is in on top of it there. So now I can put the rubber seal in on top of that too. Uh, so that needed that piece of wood underneath it. There and then that one. And that one goes under there. Back like that. Yeah. So that then fits in on top there still a bit hot like that. There we go. It's in. Lovely. And then that runs. I'll grab that. The uh, the sprocket, the sprocket runs inside that seal lip. That's fitting in there a treat. Sitting on the bearing. Lovely jubbly. Very nice indeed. Right. That's perfect, that is. So we've got a gearbox. Gearbox is ready, ready, ready to go in. In fact, if I wanted to, I could put the gearbox in now uh, because everything's there. All right, so the gearbox could go in with that intermediate plate 
on and I wouldn't have to worry about it. However, if I did that, it'd make the engine really heavy uh, and I've got to lift this around and do the crank and stuff. So you know what? I'm not going to do it just yet. I know it's ready. It's all done. Ready to go. Um, but I don't need to do it just yet. So I'm going to put this back on its blocks of wood to protect it a bit. There we go. That can stay there and cool down. Uh, gearbox is ready to go in. That is great. Um, but I want to, uh, before I do that, I want to make sure all of the oil ways are clear in this. So things like this, where the oil pump goes, I'm going to blow them all out, get like, some pipe cleaners in there, make sure everything is pristine clean and all the bolt holes are clean and stuff like that. Um, before I start to build the engines, everything's got to be bang on. You can't have any uh, blasting media in there or anything like that. So that's already there. And then I've got the other side of the case and I've got a seal to go in on that side. Um, the other side of the bearing. I've got the crank to go in and then this will all drop on and it'll all be lovely. I might just drop it on now because it just looks so good. Right, so yeah, that will go on there. And it'd be brilliant. Um, but I'm just waiting for, I'm waiting for my big end bolts. Uh, so they'll be here extremely soon. I've got a couple of bits to send back to Pat, which are wrong. Um, uh, nobody's fault, just in the wrong bag. Uh, so yeah, these rods will be able to go back in, uh, which will be lovely. Um, so I've got to put, bolt the rods to the crank, put the crank in the engine, lock the two sides together and from then I could put the pistons on barrels on and, oh we're, we're cooking on gas then I mean we're really getting there so yeah very exciting um I'm finding it difficult to contain myself uh yeah so uh next video I reckon we'll have a crank in the crankcase and the bottom of the engine will be together and we'll be in my, on my engine stand in the in the side there be, yeah brilliant right Thanks for watching. See you again soon.